Hi, Janisha here, your transformation coach. Today I'll be doing a video tutorial on how to make overnight oats two different ways, one being a mason jar and the other one being a meal prep container. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so for this recipe, you will need oats, rolled oats preferably, old-fashioned oats, 100% um, oats. Um, also, you will need a mason jar or a bowl, something that you can cover with a lid. I am using oat milk for mine. You can use regular milk or almond milk, whatever type of milk you prefer. Also, for a taste, you can use brown sugar. I'll be using uh, brown sugar. You will also need a measuring cup. And if you don't have a measuring cup, you can basically um, eyeball it. And I am going to be using a one tablespoon measuring cup for the brown sugar. Stay tuned. So now what I'm going to do is take the oats, take my one cup measuring, put some oats in there, pour it inside of the mason jar. This is measured out at four cups on the mason jar, but it's really a cup. Um, you can put more if you like. I'm gonna put a little more. This half of mine fell out. All right, perfect. Then you'll take your tablespoon. This is brown sugar. Put a spoon in there. You can also use cinnamon. I'll just put a little bit in there for taste. Uh, just a little bit. Way. Right, you can give that a stir. You want to get it to where it's just over the oats. And for this one, you can add fruit if you'd like. You can give that a stir. Give that a stir. A nice stir, making sure that everything is even. And then put the cap on. And it's ready to go inside of the fridge for the next day. The second way is using a meal prep bowl. I love these containers um, because your food stays fresh for a good amount of time, um, depending on how long you keep it in the fridge. So same process, just use a cup of oats, pour it in the bowl. Then what I'll do next is use some cinnamon, one tablespoon of cinnamon. I actually won't use a full tablespoon. Let me just sprinkle in there. Next I will use a tablespoon of brown sugar for flavor. Right, so we have that there. And then the same process with using the oat milk. This one you can measure it or you can eyeball it. 
just want to make sure it's enough to make the oats moist and you can give it a good stir and if you're seeing that it may not be fully uh, submerged or the oats aren't fully submerged that's fine um, you can do it to your liking but I just want to make sure I give you guys a foundation and notice with this one I didn't stir the brown sugar and the cinnamon together over the oats before I put the milk so these are the two different ways um, you'll still get the same outcome sometimes but um, other times when you just mix the milk and the oats together um, you get a different outcome okay so this is how it looks if I can bring you guys in a little closer this is how it looks and it's gonna actually look like cooked oats tomorrow morning um, with this recipe you can also put it in the microwave or you can eat it cold and you can add fruit as well so you just put the lid on there and then you put it in the fridge and that is how you make overnight oats thanks for watching